No, the name is O'Connor. Terry and Kevin O'Connor. Uh, yeah, they're a young couple, and he is tall, dark-haired, good-looking. They might have uh, signed in under an assumed name. All right, if you hear anything, would you contact me, please, Chief Anna Devane at the Atwater Hotel. Thank you very much. I appreciate it, yes. No luck? No, nothing so far. Right. I got a hold of Ramsey. Uh, he didn't hear from Frisco yet, but uh, he got the number of the hotel, and he'll talk to you later. All right, thanks a lot, Jake. Did your husband show up yet, ma'am? No, and he usually calls when he's going to be this late. Well, he probably hooked up with one of his buddies and went for a sale. You have any luck? No. None of the hotels I called had a Mr. and Mrs. O'Connor in their register. Frisco would have called all the same hotels, wouldn't he? Yeah. All right. If he didn't get anywhere, what would he do next? Scuba areas. He knew they were going on that kind of vacation. He'd find out where the scuba diving spots right, are. Right, right. Can you tell us where the local beaches are where divers hang out? I'm not a fan. I think if God wanted man to swim underwater, he would have given us fins instead of arms. Uh, yes, uh, but surely you know where the, the beach areas might be. Well, I have heard some of the guests talk about the town beach at the end of Sumner Street. You might try there. All right, Thanks. thank you. This is a place to start. Absolutely. Now, I am expecting a couple of calls, important ones. I would appreciate it if you could take the messages. Thank you. Well, there's no problem with that. This is a full-service hotel. Of course. Yes. Well, look who just decided to drop in. Uh, Mr. Myers, Miss Devane, this is the man you've been waiting for. Oh, ah. Ben, uh, these people are looking for a friend of theirs. He's staying at this hotel. Yes, a uh, Mr. Frisco Jones. Oh, yes. We have to get with him. It's, it's very serious. Oh, yes, I remember him. He was a nice young man. Uh, he seemed to be in such a hurry, though, and uh, Catalina's not the place for people to be in a hurry. Obviously. He uh, asked a lot of questions. About what? Well, he wanted to know where all the scuba beaches were on the island and uh, the names of all the hotels near the scuba beaches. Oh, uh, right. Well, we're going to need exactly the same information. Can you help us out? Sure, no problem. Tell you what, I'll just take a couple of minutes. I'll just gather all my brochures and write down a list of everything again. It's not like people ask for this sort of thing every day. <laughs> I hope we're not too late. Chris has got a big jump on us, you know. I hope that big jump didn't get him into any trouble. Me too. Here's another one. I used to know the owner. He died about 10 years ago. I think his son runs it now. I've often wondered if he's kept it up like his father used to. <laughs> yeah, I wonder. Um, excuse me, Ben. We really appreciate what you're doing, but we're in a tremendous hurry to find these friends. Oh. You could check the town beach while we gathered the information. We could have it ready for you Great. when you got back. Okay. You got it. Uh, I wouldn't waste your time. I, I don't think uh, <laughs> that Frisco would have gone there. Why not? Why? Well, uh, he'd have hit the scuba shop at the end of the street first. There's a lot of divers hanging around there, and uh, maybe he got some good ideas there. Did you tell him about the scuba shop as well? Yes, I did. I wrote it down on his list. All right, all right. We've got two choices. Either we stay here and make more phone calls to hotels, or we hit the scuba shop. Hi. Hey. How'd the scuba gear work out? Oh, great. Except for one little problem with my weight belt. Small problem. <laughs> What'd you do, run into a shark? Well, nothing quite that dramatic. Actually, I cut it on the jagged edge of a rock. Is okay. that all the damage you did? Well, fortunately, I had a wetsuit on. I was hoping maybe you could replace it as soon as possible. My wife and I are kind of anxious to get back in the water, you know. Honeymooners? How did you know that? That grin on your face. I see it a lot around here. <laughs> yeah, well, that tells the story. Speaking of which, I was wondering if you could do me a big favor. Has there been any people in here looking for us? No, why? Are you expecting somebody? Well, I'm hoping now. We have these kind of far out friends from back home and they've threatened to crash our honeymoon oh man some people just don't know when to yeah, butt out don't i know it i was hoping you'd give them a bump steer they came here looking for us hey i never laid eyes on you buddy <laughs> hey all right you don't have to go that far though just tell them that you saw me go way over to the other side of the island while i'm doing some diving that'll give me a little bit of time you know have a little bit of peace all i'm asking for is a little bit okay i uh you got it anybody comes in here looking for you they're gonna go on a wild goose chase they'll never forget i appreciate that now if you could get me my weight belt i can get back to my wife sure i'll have to check in back uh my stock's a little low this good weather's brought in a bunch of tourists probably take a few minutes you're not in a hurry are you oh uh, well kind of you know how it is on a honeymoon every minute counts <laughs> I'm not at all sure you know exactly who you're dealing with here. I know Lucy Cove from the day of Kevin's trial. 
I know what she's capable of, and I'm not going to let her pull anything over on me. Well, just keep it in mind, she's a very cold number. She's out to protect herself and the only man that ever showed her any affection. Right, Kevin O'Connor. Exactly. She learned her tricks from a master. I know what I'm doing, Sam. Well, I certainly hope so. Thanks for the ride, guys. I appreciate it. Just doing my job. Samantha's going to take over now. Oh, oh, that's a shame. I, I, I feel so safe with you close to me. Her act gets better all the time. Lucy, I need to talk to you. Um, can't it wait? I, I, no, I, I need really to talk to you right now. Where's Kevin? How should I know? I know you know. I don't know what you're talking about. Cool it, ladies. Look, I know you told Frisco where Kevin took Terry and Catalina Island, and I want to know right now. I don't know. I don't think you have an honest bone in your body. I've got to get to work. I don't have to take this from you. <laughs> oh, well, you better get used to it, because Kevin O'Connor's a killer, and if he kills again, you're not going to be able to lie your way out of it. Why don't you leave the detective work to your boyfriend? Hey, 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 what's going on? The hell's going on here? Ah, uh, Felicia and Lucy were just having a talk. I'm talk? Sorry. This looks like a cat fight. She's goes in danger, and I need to know where Kevin and Terry are. So you better tell me. Brian, I, I, I'm sorry. I, I told you that this would happen. People don't forget. I never expected a second chance in this town, and I was right. I'm really sorry if I disappointed you. I'll stay with you. Brian, I, I'd like to explain. Oh, no, you don't have to apologize for me. I would fight that woman in the middle of Times Square if it would help me find Frisco. I don't know what's going on here, but it's going to have to continue when Lucy is off duty. Got it? Hey! Just relax. You shook her up enough to know that she knows you mean business. Maybe Bert Ramsey knows something. I think I'm going to give him a call. Oh, that's not a bad idea. Here, a quarter. Uh, yeah. I need to speak with Chief Ramsey, please. This is Felicia Cummings. Hi. Uh, no, I haven't heard anything from him. I was hoping maybe you had. No, I'm at the hospital right now. I just had a run-in with Lucy Coe. Uh, no, Eric and Sam had nothing to do with it. I know that Lucy Coe knows something about Kevin and Terry and Catalina. I know it, but she just won't admit to anything. Yeah, Bobby told me everything. I know the whole story. I never should have hung up on him. If anything happens to Frisco, I'll never be able to forgive myself. Frisco Jones. I didn't buy anything. I'd remember that name. What's uh, he look like? Well, he's kind of tall, fair haired sort of good looking. I think he was in this morning. Asked a lot of questions, left in a hurry. Did he say where he was going? No. Then I didn't ask him either. Okay. I wonder if you've seen either of these two people. Yeah. That guy was in here just a little while ago. Rented some diving equipment. He was? What about the woman? Was she with him? No, he's by himself. Said he was on his honeymoon, though. Yeah, that's right. I'm going to go look outside and make sure that it's still not out there. Okay, did he say where he was staying? No, but I know they were planning on doing some diving on the other side of the island. Can you be more specific? Sure. 
It's a place called Emerald Cove. It's pretty hard to get to. About 10 miles off the main road. It's on the map, Emerald Cove. Um, our friend that came in earlier, did he ask where these people have gone? Oh, hard to say. He might have. Okay, that's it, Jake. Frisco's gone to Emerald Cove to try and find them. Well, let's hit the road. We haven't got any time All to right, lose. Thank Thanks. you very much for your help. Bye-bye. It was nothing. You know, I don't know what you're talking about. I was on a swim team for four years. There is no way that you can swim faster than me. I proved that today by staying ahead of you 50 oh. yards. You started the race and you were a whole length ahead of me. Oh, what took you so long? Did you get your belt? No problem. Yeah. Did you miss me? Mm. I thought of nothing else. Oh, well, it looked like you two managed to keep each other busy. <laughs> yeah, well, we had the uh, preliminary of the first Catalina Invitational. <laughs> you know, I'm dying to go diving tomorrow. Well, I'm ready if you are. Yeah. You know what? I want to go to that spot that you were talking about, that good one. Oh, no, no, no. Let's go to another place. There's some beautiful spots here on the island. It would be a shame to go to some place twice. Well, you see it twice. I didn't. Besides, I want to see those uh, rock, jagged rock formations that Kevin had mentioned. We can go to the same place, honey. I mean, it's a big reef. It wouldn't even feel like the same place. <laughs> All right. As long as I'm with my two favorite guys, I'm sure to have a great time. I'll tell you what we'll do. We'll have the hotel pack us a picnic lunch, mm -hmm. and we'll make a day of it. <laughs> All right. All right. Oh, so, speaking of food, how yeah. about dinner? Um, I think Terry and I are going to stay in tonight and catch up on our rest. I think we'll have dinner in tonight. Oh, okay. I get the hint. Mm. The honeymooners want some time alone. Um, doesn't take him long, does it? Oh, I guess not. <laughs> I guess I have to, um... Check the town out myself and see what kind of action is happening. Um, uh, if you're going scuba diving with us tomorrow, I think you'll catch up on your rest. Spoiled sport. <laughs> now listen, go to the dining room, have a nice meal, then go to your room, no matter how many women are throwing themselves at you, and I mean it. Oh, you're a cold <laughs> woman, Terry O'Connor, cold woman. <laughs> uh, <laughs> now you have a nice night, all right? All right. Good night. Good night. Um, I'll be in my room if you need me for anything. Thanks. Well, it has been a perfect day. Well, the day is not over yet. Why don't you get into your robe? Mm-hmm. And I'll fix you some warm tea. How's that? Where are you going to get that? I picked some up. <laughs> and it's right. Um, you're a genius. That's why you genius. married me, isn't it? Yes. But I married you because you always know what's best for me. Mm. Yes. Okay. Mm. All right. You know, I was uh, surprised to see Patrick show up here this morning. Not that I wasn't glad to see him. Oh, well, I was hoping you wouldn't mind me inviting him. I thought, you know, since he was so close, San Francisco, Doing the medical convention, you know, it'd be handy for him to come straight down. Yeah, I'm just happy he was able to join us. He's your brother, and I know, I know how important he is to you. Now that we're married, I hope Patrick thinks of me as family. I know that's how I think of him. He cares for you very much. Yeah, I gave him the starfish I found because I wanted to thank him for turning our vacation around. What do you mean? Well, ever since Patrick arrived, I don't... I thought about Laurelton, or the past, or the nightmares I've been having lately. Well, that's all behind us now. Yeah. Here. It's close to a new life. Life with no past, only a present. In a long, long future. I love you so much. <laughs>